Hi everybody, we're out here in the garage today. Steve's gonna help me today. If you saw a video of me and Matt and Derek did before we compared the insides of a filter to what a drop-in, what I call a cartridge filter looks like. What we're gonna do today is I found these two filters on clearance at Walmart for a dollar a piece. What we have is what I call a store brand, private label, whatever, entry-level filter. This is Walmart SuperTech. It was a dollar, 3,600. We're gonna cut it open. Then we have the Tough Guard, which is the like mid-level Fram. This is a 3682. They are different filters, so they're gonna be a little bit different externally, but then we will see what the difference is inside. So Steve's got a pipe cutter here. I'm gonna let Steve do all the magic of cutting. We'll cut this one apart, lay everything out here, cut this one apart, lay everything out here, and then compare what the difference is. You see this is a pipe cutter, but it's gonna cut this just fine. We hope. <laughs> all right, after a little bit of surgery, it is like 90% open, still open on one side, but enough where we can get it open and lay it out here. So, let's see what all is inside. Boom. There's everything that's inside. See, there's nothing left in there. Okay. All right. So, there's that one. What you have here, obviously, is you have your filter element. This is either going to be what they call an anti-drain back valve. Of some form or this is just literally to keep pressure on the end of it you have your rubber silicone gasket here that goes on the outside obviously oil goes in oil comes out very simple nothing nothing special it's your basic entry level filter okay so now we'll cut open the tough guard filter and see if it compares all right so we got the tough guard open that can was actually a little bit tougher than the supertech brand um, there are some differences right off the bat, you'll notice, on this one, this little rubber gasket is actually made onto the filter, not onto the housing. On the Tough Guard, it is made onto the housing itself. I pulled it off there, but it's made onto the housing. On here, it's actually attached to the filter element. So you can see on here, it's not. So, something else I noticed too was on here, this little metal piece here is actually made onto the filter. On the Tough Guard, it is not. When I took this apart, the filter was actually loose from that. This was in the can, and this was just not even attached to it. Filter elements on the Tough Guard look actually wider. If you notice here, they are actually together here. They have this little thing here that, I don't know if that's actually to keep the filter element together or to keep this from compressing. This one doesn't have that, as you can see, it's just glued together right there. Um, filter elements look about the same. A big difference here I noticed too is, I don't know if you can see down in there, but this has plastic on the inside. That's where this one has metal. This one has a lot of tiny holes. That's where this one has like big square grid looking stuff. So this would, uh, oil would go through it better. This might actually restrict your oil flow or your oil pressure or something. That's where this one would be more wide open. Um, there are differences between these filters. Like I said, this one was actually tougher to cut apart and it feels heavier than this one. I think it's just the metal might be thicker and plus the bottom of it. If you look, this one is concave and it's really thick. It's where this one is flat and it's a lot thinner, the metal itself. Um, so there are differences internally between a, what I call a house brand or a store brand filter and the middle level tough guard. Not only externally, but internally, as you've seen. So, next thing we may do is we may cut open a Mobile One or a high-end K&N filter if I can find one for cheap and see if it's any different than either one of these. Think it's gonna cut it, Steve? Well, it's wanting the thread down it. That's what I'm trying to shove on. Mm. 